Hey guys, it's Sim. It's been a really long time since I've done a flip through video, which is what I'm going to be doing today, of my um, Foxy Fix Personal Wide Sugar Mochi Planner. I think I have, I may have done, or may not have actually, I don't know, <laughs> a flip through of this before years ago probably, um, because I did get, this was one of my biggest um, and first Foxy Fix planners. And it, um, I got the rose gold embossing that says Spencer and Jude for my shop. Um, and yeah, I love this thing. It's chunky. Um, I did just, I mean, it's not even finished. Um, the setting up process is not really quite done, but I just wanted to share it with you guys anyway. There are parts that I have used, um, but just lately I haven't been able to I don't know, put too much passion and um, stuff into planning, which is a probably a longer story than <laughs> can be divulged here. But I'm sure you guys, like some of you, feel um, the way that I feel. Uh, I think a lot of people feel the way <laughs> I feel right now uh, in terms of just the world and... Um, yeah, like I said, it's. I think it's too much to get into here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do a flip through of my sugar mochi. And for some reason, I feel like the lighting is changing. Um, yeah. Okay. No, this is. This looks pretty true to color. Um, I think it may be more pink in real life. I mean, you can check out Instagram and everywhere else for pictures of a sugar, sugar mochi. It's been around forever. And this is very chunky. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. The purpose of this planner was actually, it was like, I'm learning, starting to learn about tarot, uh, tarot readings and alchemy and just things like that, that are for my own, uh, like personal development or personal enrichment or whatever you want to call it. Um, and it does go sort of hand in hand with my career field in a way. Anyway, that's what this planner was meant for. I do have an A5 that I use primarily for work stuff like uh, mindfulness, DBT, and things like that. But yeah, so this is more of a fun planner, but like I said, I haven't been able to devote so much time to it lately. I'm just going to go ahead and get started and walk you guys through it. Um, I do have a massive rose quartz um, crystal on here, as well as a little Tokidoki Donatella charm. It's like a full-sized keychain. I mean, it's massive and it's heavy. Um, but since I'm not going anywhere these days and definitely not carrying this baby around, I do carry my A6 and my pocket around sometimes, but not the personal wide. So anyway, <laughs> this usually stays downstairs in my... Um, planner tote or whatever, uh, along with like four other planners that <laughs> I keep going in and out of. So yeah, without further ado, I am going to get started, um, with showing you guys inside this baby. As you can see, like when it opens up, it cannot, it doesn't like sit flat without wanting to open up its rings. Um, and like I did say, and will say again, this is not by any means a complete setup and walkthrough of this planner. Um, maybe a few months into actually using it every day, I can go ahead and do an updated sort of flip through of it. But right now, this is just more or less about deco um, and things like that that I included in this planner. There is parts in the back that are completely unfinished, like I haven't even really decorated it. Um, but I didn't want this to be like too pretentious. So I was like, you know what, I'll just tell them that I'm not done decorating it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, as you can see, pretty hefty. Um, yeah, so <laughs> let's go ahead and get started with this section. It has like the um, secretarial pocket um, and then a little card pocket right here. And there is an indentation of a paper clip that I had in here a really long time ago. So Eh, what are you going to do? Okay, so the first thing over here on this side is a paper clip that I have from Sweet Ava's Paper, which is now Shop Paper and Thread. Um, and this is like a recent order, so it's a pumpkin uh, butt cat, <laughs> as you can see. Um, 
And the other thing that I was going to say, I will try and do my best to uh, tell you where I got all of these things from, but some of them are so old and have been in my stash for a really long time. So I'm just going to try and do my best. And then if I can find links to things, uh, links to shops, I will go ahead and, uh, put it in the description bar. Just zooming you here, zooming you in here a little bit. So I have that. And then in the card pocket, I have a little washi card from Bubble Mon Stickers. It's so cute. Um, this one is from, oh my gosh. Ugh. I think it's called, the shop is called Hello Paper Cat. And it's like the stay at home squad ID card. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, and then I have a little um, Pokemon card that I use as a washi card, which I love doing. Um, there's that. And then my like favorite, one of my favorite pictures, me and Kitty. And this is like a Tim Holtz thing, I think, like a paper frame. I don't know what it's called, but <laughs> that's that. Gosh, this is going to be a long video. So I'm just going to pull out what's in the secretarial pocket. Um, the first thing is a, like an actual dashboard that I made for this planner, but then I decided to use it as like a, um, what do you call it? Like a stiffener for the cover. So that's where it sits. This is so old and it's probably been in flip throughs before because I just stick it um, into different planners over time. But this is the first ever sort of sticker collage thing that I did um, when I first started planning. If I really, really loved a sticker or got something off a sampler that I knew I wanted to keep but not necessarily use in my spreads, I would put it on here. And I mean... Yeah, there's a lot of my favorite shops on here, <laughs> including my my uh, first ever hand-drawn sticker that I made, which is still in my shop. Um, but yeah, all good stuff there. And then I have some like recollections uh, sticker sheets from last year's or the year before's Halloween sticker pads from Michaels. I just keep those in here because it is very like tarot inspired. <laughs> Um, and then I have this washi sampler card that it was just like my order came on this from my love for washi on Etsy. So I just like left it on here. And because there's, this pretty much ma matches the aesthetic of this planner. And there's obviously a Harry Potter one up here. So that sits in there. And then this is actually like a diary card for DBT that I hand out to my clients. Um, and I like to check off the skills and stuff. But I mean, obviously I don't hand them out anymore because everything is like on Zoom right now. <laughs> so yeah, that's just there. So this is gonna be a bit hard to show because again, it's like, it doesn't wanna stay open because it's chunky, obviously. <laughs> but um, you guys have probably seen these in uh, spreads or not spreads flip throughs before because this used to be in my a6 or something I have no idea anywho um <laughs> did it used to be my a6 no I don't know I'm not sure but yeah so I just made this um super like a planar um glitter dashboard with a holographic glitter from Michaels just laminated it. And then I have the ampersand sticker here, which obviously is a representative of like, well, maybe not obviously, is a representative of the, <laughs> of like DBT, uh, which is like the type of therapy that I uh, specialize in. It's basically a way of like, one of the, one of the concepts in DBT is to be able to replace, uh, Okay, guys, I don't want to do a um, DBT lesson or <laughs> education here or anything at all. But basically, that stands for something in DBT. Like, 
both um, things that are seemingly opposite can be true at the same time and that not everything is necessarily black and white, um, that there are colors and gray areas in there. And the ultimate objective is to be able to see things from that perspective. So that's what the and is for. <laughs> That's the shortest way I could have described it. This is from an old, like, Michael's um, postcard set. It just says grateful and thankful, and it is obviously in my favorite dusty rose color. So that's what that is. And on the back of that, I keep little washi samples that I actually do not own. Like, these are just from random packaging and things like that that I have. Um, actually, I do own that one. Um, but... Yeah, so I just put, like, little things that are on packaging. Um, this one is an old, like, I don't even know. It's, like, an older pocket that I had in my old planners ages ago. And there's this little thingy with the kitty, the die cut from... This is from Shine Sticker Studio, I believe. And then we have some samplers back there. And then this um, drawing is, like, the drawing that I, the first sketch that I made for my, uh, logo and it's still my logo. So yeah, that's that. And then, um, we have a little tattoo babe here on some paper, not paper, like acetate that I got from Michael's. And this is from the honeybee shop. Little Magic Prints. Um, this is on some, again, acetate from Michael's and one of my favorite quotes that I have tattooed on me. <laughs> she's mad, but she's magic. It's from a Charles Bukowski poem. And then we have some cute washi here. And then I just hand drew these hearts and made a vellum dashboard out of it. This one... I will write down the shop if I can find it. It's basically like a meditating girl, but um, it's from a clip art set that I bought and then just printed with a pink background uh, and then put the overlay, like the holographic glitter overlay on it and laminated it. That's one of my favorites. Um, okay, so I do have a lot of these big stickers from Redbubble and... Yeah, you'll see a lot of those throughout the planner. So that's from Redbubble with a bunch of like different multicolored uh, lightsabers. We have a little sticky note here from the Honeybee Shop. Um, these are, you guys, so this is a, is it a four by six? Let's see, let's see. It is, yeah, it's like a four by six. Um, okay, four and a half by six something <laughs> um, photo sleeves. And what I basically do is I get the photo sleeves, sleeves from like um, Office Depot and then I punch holes to fit in my planners and they act really great as like sticker storage or photo storage or whatever you want in your planner. I have some Fox and Pip stickers in there. I have this, um, if I remember or can find the shop, I will put it here down below. It is from an Etsy shop. Um, and then these are from like a quote book, a uh, quote sticker book that I have. It says, may, may we exist like the lotus at ease in muddy water. Love that. Um, this is a picture of uh, me, my dad, my brother, and my mom. I love that picture. That's in a lot of different planners, I think. Um, and then on this page, I have some pool water in the background. And um, this is also from, oh, Wildflower & Co. Thank you for writing it on there. That makes it so much easier <laughs> instead of finding it um, on my Etsy like purchased list. And then this is from Bubble Mon Stickers. And it's like a little Bubble Mon abducting a bunch of cats which is my life story. Just kidding. Um, we have another one of the quotes right here. If you want to conquer the anxiety of life, live in the moment, live in the breath, which is something I'm still working on like every day actively. Um, we have this bear who uh, is trying to find planner peace uh, from Grumpy Bear Sticker Co., which is... Mm, 
<laughs> now something else, bare necessities. Yes, bare necessities. And then I have a star acetate that I got from Scribble Prince Co. with a little Once More With Love bow and a Tokidoki Donatella sticker to match my keychain. And then over here I have uh, some vellum from the Planner Society. And then this section, I need to label this section because obviously it doesn't have like a little divider or a, like a tab or anything. And that's on my to-do list to put a tab on there. I just have like some of my, okay, that's not, okay, that's why. So this is not the quote section, but it is a few different sort of prayer affirmation type things that I've put in here. So I don't know exactly what to label this section, but you guys will see there is a quote section somewhere down the line. Um, I love this dashboard. So this is from Sweet Kawaii Design. And then I have a quote here that says, nothing happens next. This is it, <laughs> which is seemingly a very uh, small and like, I don't know. Like, it's like a small quote with a really, really heavy meaning. So I love that. And then this is from that shop, Wildflower & Co. We have the Moon and the Justice tarot cards. And then I have a, another, an acetate from the Planner Society. And then a big sticker here that says there's magic in the night. And this is from a recent Halloween sticker book from Michael's. And then this is, I think this was in a video before because it was in a planner before, I guess. I guess I did show like a planner, a personal wide. I'm not sure. I remember this being in a video before. So it's just sort of like a morning prayer affirmation thing that says, Today I open my eyes to a brilliant new day of light and love. I focus on my highest good in everything I do. I will maintain peace and harmony within my inner being and not allow outside circumstances to disturb my happiness. I honor my sacred life and I am grateful for all that I have. Yeah, like the last part's true for sure, but some of this is harder <laughs> like to do than um, to just read off the paper. I have another little photo pocket here, um, the same as before, and we have some Grumpy Bear slash Bear Necessities stickers and a picture of um, me, my brother, and my brother's girlfriend, who happens to be one of my best friends. And then um, we have the clouds in the background. We have a little Bubble Mon uh, die cut here, and then I have a Happy Scrappy pocket here with a picture of me and my cat. Look at his eyes. <laughs> so cute. And then here we have, okay, so <laughs> without, I think, going forward, I can definitely say that um, a, a big part of this planner is just things like this, where it's like a mess of stickers and I'm okay with that because it makes me happy. <laughs> so this was a freebie. I forget with which shop. This was in a recent haul. Um, and then some quotes. Uh, this was from Every Minute a Story. The Happy Pills with the cats inside the pill bottle. This is from Redbubble. Redbubble. Um, this is from my shop. I don't know if I – that was a freebie. But I don't know if I like sell it separately. I don't think so. Um, and then these are from Little Magic Prints. It was like from the Pisces sheet. Um, I have a big evil eye here. And then this when I was like just playing around with different um, new logos. When I was updating my logo to like the wreath. I was trying um, the moon and the stars and stuff like that. So yeah, I really like it. And I just keep it on my computer. I'm not necessarily as a logo, but I just like it. And then um, the way I do that, by the way, you guys, I will just literally get an acetate sheet and cut it down and adorn it with stickers. Like you'll see a lot of that in here, like I said. Um, this was from the same, I think, clip art with the meditating girl. It's from that same clip art. I just took the Buddha head and made it into vellum. Um, there's some stuff here about random, like vitamins and things like that. Just some information. Um, these papers I think are not even inserts. Like I just cut them down to size from an old notebook. Um, 
Same with these. This is like a reference thing. It's um, at the nail salon, like what the colors that I get usually are. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, random paper. This is from a, like a packet of bags, like little cat bags that I got from somewhere, probably Michael's a long time ago. And I just cut it and make it in, made it into a pocket. And then in here I have some Powder World things. They're so cute. I have hauled those before. So, meh, get in. And then um, here, this is from Lisa Oliveira, uh, who I follow on Instagram. Um, I think this was in a different planner before, but I just stuck it on here. It says he healing doesn't equal fixing. Healing doesn't equal forgetting. Healing doesn't equal erasing. Healing doesn't equal undoing. I think that's important in our field. Um, just, I mean, for people in general, I think. Um, and then this one is from Monica's Marvels. It is a little Kit Kat holding like a giant planner disc. I love that. Um, these tabs, I'm sure if you're in the planner community, I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen them before. They are the Avery holographic tabs. You can just literally get them on Amazon if you can't find them anywhere else. Um, and the backing for this is uh, from a Prima marketing paper, pa paper pad. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with my words today. Um, so here we have a little sky background with uh, once more with love sticky note, some bubble mon stickers, and then a, <laughs> oh crap, I should make a disclaimer at the beginning of this video, mental note, rise and shine, bitches, this is from Sparkly Paper Co., it's one of my favorite, um, like, designs, I have this in the sticker sheets too, I just love it, this is an older one from Bubble Mon, and I've had it in different planners, I love it, I'll pocket you a kiss, it's so cute. And then I have a little dashboard here, but I cut the acetate too short. Like, I have no idea what happened there. <laughs> but um, I have some adorable stickers. Uh, actually, is it called Studio Adorkable now? Studio Adorkable, Lacey's Shop. We have some um, stickers from her. And then I have a little custom Star Wars. Um, Tara from Pumpkin Paper Co. with my little BB-8, obviously. You'll see more of BB-8, I think, in this um, planner going forward. And then this is from Moon Babe Inquiry, and then I just cut some vinyl stars and put them all over here. And then this one is from Frank Hearts You. Home is where your planner hoard is. Yes, it's very true. Yeah, like I said, I don't know why I cut this too short, but anywho, this is one of my favorite um, things. This is actually a like a greeting card set, I believe, Society 6. Um, I will write it right here, but you can get like artist designs on different things. And there was... Um, there was, I think, sticker versions of these two, but I wanted to make them into dashboards. Because I wanted to make them into dashboards, I got the postcards. I am so sorry for the glare. Like, there's no way to fix it right now. Like, you can see everything that's shiny will pick up the glare from the lights. Um, so, yeah, this is, like, story of my life with the cat pushing her off. It's so cute. Um, like I said, you'll be seeing some BB-8 in here with some Porgs and some Yodas and everything. This section was a daily section, but because I was so behind on my daily planning, I just like left the, the main page and took off my daily um, inserts. And I might go ahead and do that again. I do have a Bujo that I do my daily planning in. So this is like a bit redundant. So I might just take off the daily section altogether. Um, not sure. But uh, this is from No White Space Stickers. This is from a shop on Etsy. A shop on Etsy. This is Becca Doodles. Um, on Etsy. And like I said, if I find the shops in my purchases, like going back on Etsy, I can make sure to put them down below, but literally nothing that you can't find if you type like BB-8 sticker on Etsy. Um, 
which is how I found found them. So <laughs> this bookmark is from Ashy Lee Designs, and obviously there is a lovely gesture on the Today marker, and this um, it's in rose gold. And like I said, this was the daily section, so um, that's why that's there. This design is from Annie Plans. It was a collaboration with Happy Scrappy. And then this is a little Kit Kat um, printable from Monica's Marvels. Like I said, I took off all of the other inserts that were in there. I don't know how they fit in there before. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is a Foxy Fix dashboard put upside down like as you can see the vinyl dashboard's upside down because I like having this on this side rather than this side if that makes sense like I don't like the slit to be on this side of the page this is a little Harry Potter cat postcard from Fox and Cactus um this is another logo design like for my old shop Unicorn Circus which I'm looking into bringing back as a part of Spencer and Jude. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so that was like my jewelry shop and I designed the logo for that. And then um, this one is from Powder World. I put a picture of it on my Instagram before and then I think, maybe not actually. Um, so it's like a vellum and it has a backing. When you buy it, it comes together. Um, and then I just put this quote that says, pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. Um, oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite, favorite like, parts of this planner. Um, <laughs> like it just doesn't it make you happy. Um, I don't know. It makes me happy. So we have on the left hand side, we have some porgs and the same, as I said before, like if you just type porgs, um, porg stickers, porg vinyl stickers or whatever on Etsy, there is a site. And if I can find their name, I will put it here, but there is a place. I think there might be more than one, but they sell like a chunk of like 50 or a hundred like vinyl stickers. So you pay like 10 bucks or whatever for like a huge bucket of like pork stickers or any type they have like the game of thrones and stuff like that so that's where these are from they're all from the same batch um and then i just put a paper shire bow on this porg because i mean come on <laughs> so cute and then these are hand drawn um ephemera and stickers and hand, hand colored from paper lover design hold on they're right here okay <laughs> that was a lie so miss paper lover designs miss paper lover.com that's where that's from those were like sitting on my desk um and then this is from no white space stickers um and then like i said these guys are from the same batch um this right here is a glittery postcard that i got from like walgreens or something a really long time ago if not walgreens it's probably like five below or um target or something like that but it is so cute i love it like look at his little belly her little belly. It's little belly. I don't know, but so cute. Um, so that's just a, from my greeting card that I got from somewhere. Um, and then we have a bubble mon dashboard here with a, um, bare necessities, little printable that says work hard so you can shop harder. These are from, oh my gosh, I forgot the name of the store. Um, Melina plans. I think. Not sure. And then this is from Sweet Bean Plans. It's like a little tiered tray. I love this little cluster. <laughs> so cute with the cats in the background. Um, and then ugh, I think I may have these tagged or something on my Instagram. I'll try to find the name of the shop, but they're like hands. And then this is from Studio Adorkable from Lacey, who also designed these coloring pages. Um, and she did that um, like at the beginning of COVID. So they're like um, Harry, Ron and Hermione have like toilet paper on their little carts. 
So I have two of those, and then she also made this one with Baby Yoda and the soap. <laughs> uh, so I printed one of those, and hopefully I can go back and color it, but that's what that's for. And then I have a few Tokidoki pages of coloring pages that I want to put in there as well. Um, this is from a, an authentic, I think, paper pad with the cats. I love it. I don't know if it really matches this aesthetic necessarily, but I like it regardless. And you have the paw prints right here and then the postage stamps with the kitty cats and stuff and dogs. <laughs> Can you tell <laughs> my preference? I'm just kidding. I love all animals. Um, and then we have this from a Michael's paper pad, the leopard print. And then I just put a bubble mon paw pocket here and this is from a newer Halloween sticker um, book from Michaels. This is from the same place that I got the, oh my gosh, I got this one. So we have the coffee tarot card. And I love like what just did it for me was the kitty cat on top of the coffee too. It's so cute. Um, and there's a mouse here. I love that. Um, next we have another sort of, um, sticker cluster thing here. Uh, we have Arya Stark from Game of Thrones. We have Baby Yo. Um, we have this cat, but <laughs> like turned around. This is the, from the same like design paper lover designs, paper lover designs. Um, and then this is from Lace and Whimsy. And then this is from that same Porg set, but oh my gosh, it's Porgs dressed up like Harry Potter characters. And it says first year students may bring if they wish an owl, a cat or a Porg. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, I love it. And then I just have some random words down here from like a Tim Holtz, um, sticker pack thing and then this is from I've hauled this before or it should be in a haul it's from powder world as well and the vellum side has her like playing on her little handheld and then we have her room in the background so cute and then another <laughs> sort of cluster of stickers um this one I love this page so much it's like a darker page for some reason I just ended up being that way but um oddity tattoos where I get uh most of my most like recent tattoos um here in Sarasota and then that's from the same shop I shared before same like with the porg it's from that same uh, it's from the same group of pork stickers and then we have a little wolf to represent um stark house i forget where this is from i may write it here if i can find it and then um we have this from lace and whimsy and then this is from uh simply gilded it's a like a little seal so cute and then if you look over on this page, um, <laughs> this is from Redbubble and it's like a self-help guide for coping with stress. And she's got like a cigarette and she's downing coffee from, um, the pot. <laughs> and then we have a little, um, Tibetan singing bowl meditation bell that we use for mindfulness that is from the same, um, paper pack, not paper pack, same clip art pack as before with like the meditation stuff. Um, and then this just says you just need to do nothing sometimes, which I need to convince myself that that's okay. But yeah. <laughs> and then again, the tab is from Avery. And then, okay, I believe these lists um, making lists like lists to make uh lists of lists is from vienna ortiz if i'm wrong i will um correct myself down here um on the screen but it basically has ideas for list making it's so cool and then it gives you um some space to make your own and there's like there was i couldn't decide between a colored one and a plain 
like a black and white one. So I just put them both in here. I could take them out later. But yeah, that is just some prompts for list making. Um, this toilet paper <laughs> divider is from Ashy Lee Designs. Um, and then I have some books that I want to look at here that I just wrote down. Pretty sure this insert, the list insert with the moon and stars is from Annie Plans. And then this is from a Michaels paper pad, I believe. I just like cut um, the middle section where the moon is in the hands. I just love that. And I don't mind that it's like smaller. And then we have some uh, paper shire working from home. This is how I do sessions right now. And then we have some paw prints. I forget. I'm not sure, but it's a shop on Etsy. It's the same place that I got where it says like cat mom. I don't know if that was in another, it was in a haul before. <laughs> Who knows? Um, Peace, love and veggie burger sticker also from Redbubble. This uh, protector tarot card uh, with the black cat is from, I think his name is Tiago. I'm not sure. I'm just making things up now, but I will put it down below. It is from another artist that's on Society6, and I got, again, I believe these were like postcards that I, or greeting cards that I cut down to size to make into dashboards. Um, I just have two like little blank sticky notes from Bubblemon, Bubblemon Stickers Co., Another vellum dashboard. I took the backing off of this because I thought the tarot cards in the background looked really cool with this vellum. And the color matches. Like, it just goes perfectly. So I just um, left this vellum by itself. I love her bracelets. They remind me of the ones that I have on right now. And, yeah, this is from Powder World. And I love her crown, too. It's so cute. Um... Okay, and then here, I forget where I get got these from. I have also forgotten where they're from, like, in a haul before, I think. Not a haul. In a flip through before or something. I have no idea. But I love the holographic. The background is from a Prima paper pad. I am so scatterbrained today. Um, and then I just made myself a Rebel uh, vinyl on holographic vinyl. And then we have, okay, so this is supposed to be the tarot section, I think. Um, who knows? But I have these um, tarot stickers. I forget what website they're from. <laughs> I know nothing. Like I said, I'm going to do the best that I can. It's nothing that you guys can't find if you really want it. It's like you go on Etsy and you type tarot stickers and you will get some. So I don't feel too bad about not being able to share some of the things that are on here because like I'm not perfect. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I can't withhold all of that. Like I can't hold all of that information in my head. Um, again, paper is from mm, Prima and I just made this um, super easy to find tutorials and super easy to make um, folders in your planner from like a 12 by 12 paper pad um, or a smaller one if your planner is smaller, obviously. And then I have this sheet. I forget where it's from, but that's acetate with stars on it. Um, and then we have this thing. Okay, so Carolyn XO, XO Carolyn. XO Carolyn Designs. Carolyn, in her, um, in an older flip through, she mentioned that she got these in an order with crystals and then put them on here. Um, yeah, so I did the same thing after I saw that video. I was like, oh, that's another store I can get crystals from. <laughs> so I got the crystals and like they come with um, these, I believe, or you can get it together. There's like an option. So it talks about the amethyst. Um, and then these are just nostalgic, like, um, Sandy lion fuzzy stickers that I used to have when I was little. Um, and I repurchased them on Etsy. Um, they were in a haul where I talked about them before. So I put them in like a little photo sleeve, um, pocket. And then I made myself some, um, uh, 
Papershire. These were from her freebies, I think, from Zenny's freebies for the month. And so I made myself some stickers and stuck them in there since this is like a tarot card kind of one and crystals and candles, you know, all the good stuff. <laughs> so this was, I think this is the one that's on my Instagram that I took a picture of, but it's from an, um, Powder World. And yeah, like I said, so uh, if I can find these shops, I will write them down below or here, but I got some inserts for tarot learning and tarot reading, and it's basically like a bunch of cheat sheets um, on the meanings of the cards, and then I just put some notebook paper in there to take notes, and then um, I got these from a shop, and they're so cool because they're like the, when you do your three card spreads, there's like monthly tarot spreads, your daily card pull, and stuff like that. It's just really awesome. But like I said, I haven't been able to get to any of that recently. I haven't been able to get to that stuff recently, like I said before, because there's just craziness going on um, all around. So <laughs> all in good time. But this is another sticker that I got from Redbubble. It's like a little book, a pink book that says banish anxiety and other terrible feelings. <laughs> like, yes, please. Um, and then this is a little Kit Kat from Monica's Marvels that says, let me read your cards. So it's like perfect for this book or planner. And then we have, this is from an Etsy shop. If I remember it, I will put it right here if I can find it. Um, this little full box sticker is from Planner Mania. This is from Studio Adorkable. And the Friends sticker with uh, Chandler and Joey is from Redbubble. Um, this gummy bear vellum, I saw that my friend Celine had it. Uh, I forget where it's from, of course, but it was a digital. I saw that she had it, so I wanted one. <laughs> um, and then it like matched perfectly with these red bubble stickers. And this one here is, it says like taking medication does not make you weak. And then this says, let's talk about mental health. I love the colors. And then we have another Powder World dashboard here. And this is where it gets kind of sparse, you guys. Like, this is the parts where I haven't really decorated too much. Um, I mean, some, but not, not as much as it could be filled, basically. Okay, hold on. Okay, so um, like I was saying, this is sort of bare bones, but I have a beachy little thing. I was just thinking I will probably jazz this planner up more for the holiday season. Um, not like super traditional jazz it up for it, but definitely put in some cute like Christmassy things. Um, this guy who's like side-eyeing nothing. <laughs> who's doing a side eye he is from happy scrappy and he's supposed to hold a pen or a pencil okay so back here we have paper from a michael's paper pad we have a good luck cat a little uh, anatomical heart <laughs> a porg that's dressed in uh, glasses and a beanie and then a little r2d2 from lacy at studio dorkable we have a lord of the cat sticker here from Redbubble and it is so cute. Look, it's all the characters as cats um, from Lord of the Rings and then it says it's the furlough ship of the ring. <laughs> and just in line with sort of the hero's journey and just the idea of a journey, I guess it's going to be hard, but hard is not impossible. I love that quote. Um, we have this here, this mild liner digital is from I believe uh, Simply Me Kish I believe and then oh here's where I have the quotes so there's like a quotes collection insert that I had in a video before um, but I do have like random pieces of paper where I also have quotes that I put in there and yeah so it's just like quotes that I like I have way more on like sticky notes and stuff that have to be transferred into here, but you know, I just, I need time to do that. So 
Um, next, we just have a dashboard from Style Planner that I laminated with the Monstera leaves. This is a art print, an art print from Karen Hallian on Etsy. And it's Galadriel from Lord of the Rings. And it just says light. It's beautiful. I love it. And then um, we have a like a two pocket uh, insert from the Foxy Fix. And I just have this little uh, washi card here. By the way, I made this washi card, fun fact, out of like a cutting board that you can get at Dollar Tree. And yeah, like I make dividers with these. You can make like uh, planner covers and things like that. So this is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a little tip or a trick or whatever. So I just kept that in there. And then I have some Halloween samplers in this pocket right here. This is a really old um, print. I just wrote this myself and made it into a vellum and I have it in uh, quite a few planners. Fing F, my favorite sentiment. <laughs> and then um, I have this dashboard that I made from a Prima paper pad. Is it from a Prima paper pad? I think so, yeah. And then I have this beautiful water back here. I love that. And I obviously put this together like later in the summer. And yeah, um, I have a blank acetate sheet here that I have yet to fill with stickers and whatever else. Um, I have this from Catspresso Co. It's like a little pocket with the jelly stars. And I don't know what I could fit in there that would make this planner not chunky. So I don't know um, what I'll put in there yet. But like I said, I'm not done with this setup. Um, <laughs> so we have the Rose Quartz version of the Amethyst info card that I had from before. I handmade another uh, folder um, using... I think this paper is from a Michaels paper pad. Um, and then I have a little happy scrappy pocket here with the Disney castle and a Mickey head. And then this I laminated from, uh, it's from Simply Me Kish. And you can read what it says. <laughs> I love that. Um, and then this is from, this was a digital from Moon Babe Inquiry. I love her. And this is another collection. This is one of my other like favorite pages. Um, I have this in another planner because I love, I love this, <laughs> this whole like, yeah. So this is Lena Hattie from um, Game of Thrones. And it was just like a behind the scenes picture of her that I had found. And she looks so genuine. I loved it. Um, we have this. I forget the name of the shop, but I got a notebook from them and a few stickers. So there's like the airplane and the clouds. Um, this I saw on a, like a t-shirt company and they sell posters as well. It was like sponsored on Instagram and I have a mug actually that says that. Um, I'm mostly peace, love, and light and a little go F yourself. <laughs> And then I have this also from Redbubble. So that's like obviously a theme there. And then we have a bunch more stickers on this side. So we have the Hattori Hanzo Sword and Sushi sticker from Redbubble from uh, Kill Bill. And then a little like a silhouette picture of Ronda Rousey, who's a UFC fighter, past UFC fighter no longer fights for the UFC. I think she's like retired with a baby or something. But um, yeah, she's badass. And then we have this from Blushing Boba Studio, I think. And it's basically like two pens, kind of like lightsabers, which come on. Um, and then this is another like a smaller die cut of one that I have earlier in the planner, which is from Mood Baby Inquiry. And then I have <laughs> this uh, vellum that's also in other planners, I think. I just literally drew like a little stick figure of Voldemort and named it Voldy and made it into a vellum dashboard because it makes me happy. <laughs> 
<laughs> it is what it is. Um, this little Dobby vellum is from Frank Hartsview. And then I have a Grumpy Bear Let's Stay Home sticky note and a one from Planner Society right here. So I have another um, Foxy Fix pocket here that has nothing in it, and this one is the right way that it's supposed to be. I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but there it is. Um, and then I have some blank sort of dotted Bujo page type thing here. Wait, did I say another? No. Okay, so <laughs> I have just random pages here. I have this dashboard that I made from another uh, Prima Marketing paper pad. And then I have another blank acetate here <laughs> that I will put stickers and stuff on. This is, I believe this is a vellum from Hobby Lobby. I really love this. And it sort of looks like, like a drawn sort of like tattooed effect. And that's why I put it back here where I used to have like my tattoo ideas and that's why I had like the tattooed babe. But this section doesn't necessarily have to be that um, in this planner. And then I put in some like weird random pages in there. This was a printable insert from Mama Jean something. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm so sorry. And then I have a little page lifter from Foxy Fix that probably came with the planner itself. Um, and then in this back pocket, we have some random, like this is when I got the stones, they give it to you like with the order from a local shop. So I just have, oh, I love that. I love strawberry quartz, but just all sorts of quartz, I guess. So those are those, and then this is from a um, single paper. I cut this into be like a decorative thing here. This is from Michaels, and then I do have an old dashboard that I had made. Um, oh, this is so cute. I should definitely put that in there, but <laughs> yeah. So this is from, was it from Moon Babe Inquiry? I'm not sure, but she has a cute little Deathly Hallows um, tattoo and like a half sleeve. And then this is from the Coffee Monsters Co. This is just from a bunch of clip art I put together and made into a sticker. Um, some foil stickers and then some Simply Gilded Washi with a buffalo plaid paper in the background. And then I have um, like uh, the Planner Society paper uh, topped with like a wood plank paper. This is from. Fox and Pip, and this says Girl Brush It Off. I don't know if you can see it, but it like blends in with the black hair color. And then this is just a die cut from my shop. And then um, I forget what shop this is from, but it was from an Etsy shop. And it says she's badass with a big heart with like a little hand drawn heart there. I love that. I think I need to put that in to the planner itself instead of like keeping it back here. And then we have this, and I just keep these guys in here with all the properties and stuff of the crystals. And then in this pocket, I have this, um, which I have everywhere. These, the, these are like bobby pins for me. I just keep them everywhere for bookmarking things. And then I have an old washi card that I made from these mason jar tags, and then I have like a label maker that I made the hello with. So that's that. <laughs> and then lastly, this is from a melancholy moose. I love her stuff, Ash Designs, like a lot of really cool Harry Potter stuff, along with other fictional um, stories and, and inspired things. So yeah, that is in the card pocket here. I don't know what this all is. Um, and then I have this black cat pen right here. I have no idea where I got this from. I'm um, sure de definitely that you can like find it somewhere on Etsy or Amazon. 
so cute. It's a little black kitty and it just sits right there. I don't necessarily use this all the time. It might be more for decorative purposes because I do carry my pencil case around everywhere wherever I do planning. So yeah, you guys, that was the end of that. And as you can see, it doesn't want to stay in a certain um, position. But oh my gosh, look how cute. <laughs> it's like opened up to this page. So yeah, this is my um, personal wide foxy fix in the sugar mochi with the personalization um, of the Spencer and Jude like in the rose gold foiling and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that um, I do know that it was a little bit of a frenetic energy I don't know why I'm feeling that way today I think I feel that way a lot of days recently I'm just going to open it to my favorite page while I talk to you guys. <laughs> I think this might be my favorite page. So, um, yeah, uh, like I was saying, I do have a lot of anxiety lately, and it is. I'm filming this. Let me see. I'm filming this Tuesday, November 3rd, and I'm actually filming it in between sessions. So if that gives you an idea as to where my <laughs> head is at, um, like work mode slash panic mode, just, you know, that, that delicate balance. But yeah, I hope that um, you guys enjoyed it. If it inspired you in some way or it gave you some ideas on how to play around or decorate um, your planner. Yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I am hoping to do another flip through of like my A6, like an updated flip through because that was more recently, I think. And then I do have a new pocket one and an additional A6 as well as an A5. <laughs> so <laughs> those are all just things like planners that I don't necessarily may not like go to every day, um, but they sit in my planner uh, bin, like not bin, but like a diaper caddy, <laughs> my planner caddy downstairs. So guys, um, thank you so much for watching. If you have lasted this long, I really, really appreciate your support. Um, I hope that you guys are doing okay wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.